Hi friends, in this video we are going to unbox a Zebronix gamepad and uh, let's play a game using this gamepad and see how worth this gamepad is. If you are new to our channel, please press the subscribe button and bell icon near to it for the upcoming videos. Let's begin the video. This is a Zebronix Joypad model number is the DP V260JP. Let's have a look at this gamepad outside. You can see the specifications and features of this gamepad at the back side of the box and price and some other things. Okay, let's unbox this gamepad. Let's take this out. Now you can see this gamepad. This gamepad has totally 14 buttons and dual analog sticks and it has a dual vibration motors. You will feel the vibration while you are gaming. This gamepad is good for the beginners to start gaming with this because at this price range we can't expect more. You can see this dual analog sticks at the front side to control and the L1 R1 keys at the back side of this joystick. And it comes with an installation driver of this joystick to our PC. It's not mandatory to install this driver to your PC an optional to install the drive insert the CD drive and the DVD driver and you just open the drive in the PC and you can see the software of it and just run that wait until the setup is getting complete after the setup is complete you just click finish now you can insert the gamepad USB into the PC this gamepad is accessed by the USB interface through the PC. Now you can open the USB network joystick and you can see the options for setting the joystick. This USB network joystick icon will be present after the completion of the setup. Now you can access the buttons and check the button is working well or not. You can see the axis and the buttons blinking and moving in the screen this you can notice uh, that all the buttons is working well or not. You can see for more settings to change some of the things in this gamepad. You can also control the vibrations level in this gamepad. Now we are going to play the GTA 5 game using this gamepad. We can't play this game straight away because sometimes uh, the buttons won't work. So just go to the settings in the GTA game and to go to the gamepad settings you can see the controls of this gamepad at the beginning and you just go to the gamepad calibration settings and press the equivalent gamepad key whichever displaying in the screen for testing the, does the gamepad works well or not just press the equivalent key whichever displaying on the screen for the analog sticks you just press it once and move upwards and downwards for making these changes and do it same for our stick also after doing this uh, to save these changes uh, just press and hold the A which is equal to 3 in your gamepad for saving these changes and now you can start playing the game using this gamepad you can see the settings in the gamepad settings for the controls now you can see I am controlling the game using this gamepad for moving the character and for changing the view we are just using the analog sticks and for shooting and for some other things we are using buttons the price of this gamepad is uh, comes around 400 and you can buy this gamepad I just provide the link in the description okay we are going to play the game using this gamepad for a while so keep watching to my shadow to the sun rays and
video please like share and subscribe for more videos thank you for watching friends